Hello. Hello. Thank good you. evening. Good evening. Thank you for being here on time. Remember, Veronica, I think that today we have a meeting, right? After class. Yes, miss. Okay. Don't forget it, please. And today is Friday. How was your day, Heidi? Uh, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Uh, my day was very entertaining. Entertaining? Why? I, I had a lot of stuff to do in business. Oh. It's, it's, mm -hmm. It I was great in business. Thanks God. But tomorrow you don't go to work. I'm not oh. working tomorrow. Okay. So thank God you're going to rest tomorrow, right? We're going to rest and we'll have a piñata. <laughs> you'll have a piñata. Mm -hmm. And who is the birthday boy or birthday girl? Two birthday boys. Two? Are they mm -hmm. twins? Twins. No. 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 But no. you're For celebrating two at once. You celebrate two at, two at once. once. Exactly. He's your boy. Ah, oh, he's one. Of, he's one of the birthday boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The other okay. one sleeping already. Okay. But, uh, Fernandito was born on on March March nine and Marco March two. March the second. Mm-hmm. Okay. March so in the same month, Miss. Uh huh. Two yeah. years between, right? So you're, 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 you were counting in order to, yeah. Okay, good. But you save some money because you I have a double celebration. June. <laughs> June. So probably you have your vacations in June. Yes. <laughs> I think so. Okay, good. So, but that is a good strategy. Yeah. Okay. But tomorrow, is it going to be in the afternoon tomorrow? Yes. In the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to have some fun. Yes. You're going to forget to about the tacos. stress. Tacos oh. and piñata. <laughs> oh, enjoy it. Okay. We are happy for you and your babies. Good. Excellent. Thank that is you. a good therapy. Okay. And Miss Veronica, how Best. was your day today, Miss Veronica? <laughs> good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> okay, great, Miss Adakueya. A lot of work. Yes. And Veronica? <laughs> I How was your day? Um, I can see. It was Un día super cansado, pero lo quiero decir en inglés y no. A tiring no day, a lot of work, you know, exhausting, exhausting day. Exhausting. Okay. Sí. Yeah, because it is a Friday, so a lot of things to, you know, you have to get over too many things, yeah, because it is the last day of the I week. Need. Yeah, okay. And, and Wendy, Wendy, how was your day? Wendy, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. I see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I you, hear you. you, you and, and you are happy because you can listen to the class and yes. you can see us. And we are also happy because we can see you and we can listen to you, okay? Now yes. you have Wi-Fi, okay? Yes, so I love good. my Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody miss. We suffer when <laughs> we don't have it. It is mandatory nowadays, yes? Okay, so we are happy for you, miss. Thank okay. you. <laughs> okay, Fredis, good evening. How are you, Fredis? Ah, we are happy good because you're, you're not working. You are at home. No. Today is your I day home, home, right? Yeah, yes, you are home. that's true. Okay, great. <laughs> and look at him, bigger smile today, yes? It's, it's more than tomorrow. It's more today, my smile uh, than yesterday. Yes, you are happier <laughs> than yesterday yeah. because you don't work today, you don't work tomorrow, and you will not work the day after tomorrow. Yes? After tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Three days off. Excellent. Great for you. Great. And Miss Ada, how are you, Ada? 
Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How was your day? Tell to the class. Bye, teacher. Thank ah, you. Hello, Milagro. Uh -huh. uh, it was fine. Great your day, Mil uh, Ada. Yes. Yes. Okay. But yes. today is Friday. Remember that. Okay. Welcome, Miss Milagro. The class, thank you for joining the class. And people, I am happy because uh, finally some of you could fix the problem with the platform. It was not the platform, as I told you, it was your. Uh, One word keyboard. was added. Uh -huh. The word like. Uh. Uh, yeah, but your problem was the. The, the other problem your was the keyword. Yes, the keyword, exactly. Okay, good. But now you are done, so congratulations. Everything is over, okay? So congrats for your exercises, your homeworks, and your uh, midterm evaluation, your test, okay? Congrats. So here we go. We're going to get started, and I'm going to say your names aloud. So you say, here I am, here, hi, or present, okay? So uh, Ada, Azucena. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Cesar Andres Alberto, not yet. Cesar Humberto, not yet. Fatima, later on maybe. Francisca del Mira, not here. Fredis, always here. Good. Here, yeah, present teacher. Okay. Heidi? Here. Always on time. Hugo, probably uh, she, he's going to get connected later on. Karen, not yet. Liliana Melissa, Lorena Guadalupe, Maria Milagros. Yes, and teacher. Okay, thank you for joining. Mauricio, not here yet. Patricia Janet, Sandra Carolina. Caroline is going to join later. Veronica Yesenia. Hi, teacher. Hello. Yes. Hi, teacher. Over there because it moves. <laughs> it moves, you know, the pictures. And I start because you are here and suddenly over there. Mm -hmm. It is constantly moving. Okay. Wendy, happily here. I am here. Okay, because you have an excellent connection today. Sachin, not yet. Yolanda. Mm, it's weird that she's not connected yet. Okay. Es un poco extraño que aún no se haya conectado Yolanda, pero esperemos que en el transcurso. Okay. So we are going to get started. And here we go. In order to finish exactly on time. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you people. And here. Okay. Remember, today is our video conference number 10. It is your second week. So it means that we are in the 50% of your course. And you are one step further, okay? Because in two weeks, you're going to be in level five. Congratulations. You have been working a lot. You have been very persistent. Han sido muy persistentes y han estado trabajando bastante. Okay, congratulations. Because even from your work, you have been connected. Incluso thank desde you, su trabajo you, se han conectado. So, congratulations. And here we go. I'm going to share my agenda with you. And as every single day, I am going to ask one of you to volunteer and read the agenda. Okay. Um, but I have, a, okay, Fredis, please be my guest. Read the agenda. Agenda, sharing mm -hmm. agenda is question number one. Number two, auditive. Number three, feedback. Number four, guard up. Number five, practice with the grammar intruder. Number six, vocabulary practice. Number seven, the de demonstrative pronouns. Number eight, tense and cool exercise. Number nine, guard up. Wrap up. up. 
wrap up, the wrap yeah. up. Yeah. Remember, yeah. it is warm up is at the beginning and wrap up is yeah. at the end in order to consolidate okay, the learning. And here we go. The general objective and the class objective. I need one volunteer to read the general objective. Who wants to try to read the general objective? Hi, teacher. Please, Ada. General objective C will develop a competence uh, that will allow them to describe teacher and the product, describe process about selling or build, building online, no customer, opinion towards product they sell, and I have conversation, conversation with others about financing activities. Class objective, participants will reinforce the, I don't speak, <laughs> the co-lady, the knowledge, the knowledge. The knowledge acquired during the week by developing some activities. Thank you very much. So the class objective for today is that you, as participant people, you're going to reinforce the knowledge acquired during the week by developing some activities. And here we go. Let's begin with the feedback. This is for the class. Let's work as a class. Please volunteer to answer the question. You have to choose only one, okay? One idea to answer the question. What do you remember about the previous class? You may say, I remember in the previous class we practice and you can mention one activity, uh, one the grammar topic or whatever that we did. I remember we studied or the activity I remember from the last class is, okay? You choose only one of the alternatives and you complete it, okay? Volunteers? Me? Please, Santa Claudia. Uh, the first one, I remember in the previous class, we practice a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, but we, <laughs> okay, one or two. And then we've been, you... uh -huh, we've been practicing the use of wool and wool light too. And mm -hmm. also we've been making, we've been uh, in an exercise. Uh, imagine if we won the lottery, what <laughs> we, <laughs> we do. <laughs> what uh, you would like to do. Yes? Would like to do and wouldn't like to do. That is okay. the most important. So you were practicing affirmative and negative sentences. Affirmative yes? and negative sentences in that, uh, using the wool or woolen too. Okay, thank you. You practiced a lot that structure yesterday. And another volunteer to share. Yes, Miss Ada. Uh, only the... Use the wall and board um, and use the meeting and make may and might me and my in this and satisfy and in in the very satisfied ah the survey that was uh on Wednesday, yes? yes? But yesterday we were reviewing that. Okay, thank you so much. One more okay. participant, one more student who would like to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, please, Miss Yolanda, you're here. Welcome. I'm here. Yeah. Okay, um, I remember we started to, uh, what can we do in case a customer wants the found due to a bad service or product that he or she paid for. Okay, very well, that's it. And one more thing, you were reading something yesterday, but I don't remember what was that. Who can <laughs> remind me about that because I forgot it. Uh-huh, what were you reading about? A refund form. Okay, very good. And you were practicing new vocabulary, right? Yes, 
Okay, very yes. good. So let's see here. For the people who were absent yesterday and probably the day before yesterday, we're going to read again the differences between me and might. And I need a volunteer to read this slide. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Please go ahead, Miss Heidi. Differences between may and might. May and might are used to talk about the possibility of something happening. May is often more possible than might. Examples. I'm not sure what to do. I may listen to music. You might not like that music. I'm, it might rain later, so take an umbrella. I may watch a movie tonight. Okay, thank you so much for helping me to read the information in this slide. Remember that as we have in here, the two modal auxiliaries are used in order to show possibility. But when we use may, it means that we have more possibilities that something happened, yeah? And might less possibilities. When we are in winter, you take your umbrella in the morning when you leave your house to work and you say, I'm going to take my umbrella. It might rain at night or in the afternoon, just in case, yes? But if you see that it is about to rain, I may take my umbrella. Otherwise I'm going to get wet, right? So that is the main difference. Do you have questions about this topic, people? Preguntas sobre este tema? No questions, okay. So let's continue. And here we go. Now we go over the warm up. The objective of this activity is to get the students into the mood of being instructed. You are going to work in a small groups, yeah? And you will ask and answer the following questions. What options would you give your family to have? I have to minimize. Your family to have great vacations. What place would you like to visit with them and why? How many days would you like to go on vacations? And later you're going to volunteer to share with the class. Are we clear about the activity or do you need an extra explanation? Hello? No, okay. Everything is clear. So keep in mind, this is the activity. You have to work in small groups, trabajar en pequeños grupos y hacernos estas preguntas, okay? What options would you give your family to have great vacations? What place would you like to visit with them and why? ¿A qué lugar, qué lugar te gustaría visitar con ellos y por qué? How many days would you like to go on vacations? ¿Cuántos días te gustaría ir de vacaciones? Yes? Okay. So, may I go over the activity? Because these questions are not in your manual, okay? Did this, this is in order to review what we were studying yesterday. What options would you give your family to have great vacations? What place would you like to visit with them and why? How many days would you like to go on vacations? Okay, you tell me when we can go over the next activity. Are you going to write them or to take a screenshot? Both. Okay, better, <laughs> good, perfect. Plan A and plan B. Okay, so you let me know when we can go to work to the breakout rooms, okay?
Andrés is in his way. Okay, are you ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. And now we're going to create the groups. Ah, Hugo is here. Welcome, Hugo. And Melissa, welcome too. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to create. When the others arrive, I'm gonna join them to your groups. Okay. Here we go, Ada, Heidi, Eugenia, Liliana are going to be in group number one. In room two, Ana Claudia, Caroline, and Milagro. Uh, room number three, Freddy, Patricia, Wendy. Room four, Veronica and Yolanda, okay? In room number five, Hugo and Lorena. Because when the others arrive, I'm going to assign some other people, okay? Here we go. Now please go to the breakout rooms. Hugo, I need you to go to group number five, please. Hugo. Hello, hello, teacher. Eh, necesito que se una al grupo número cinco con Lorena. Eh, Lorena lo está esperando. Sí, en el grupo número Sola, cinco. Solamente que no me salió, fíjese nada. Eh, fíjese que yo lo tengo acá. Y le, le, en el teléfono está. Sí. Ah, por eso es. Eh, eh, pruebe mover así la, la, la pantalla. Porque lo que voy a hacer entonces es que voy a mandar en este momento porque está solita. A... Ah, ya se movió. Milagro. Hello, Milagro. Milagro. Milagro me escucha. Hola, Milagro. Milagro, buenas noches. Okay. Would like, would like to go to. But that's not really why. Um, I went to Portugal once and, and I went with my husband. But you didn't find Cristiano. Fatima. No, I didn't find him. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Fatima to ask for, really? uh, uh -huh, to ask for uh, the Virgin of Fatima for our little baby who's autistic. Um, and then and we have promised that we will go again when he's much uh -huh, better. Uh -huh. That's why I would like us to go over there. You have to go to to pay that promise. Mm -hmm, exactly. To Fatima. Uh, I, I really have a nice place, very peaceful place. Yeah, in, in Washington, you can find a place like that. Um, it's like the, how do you say teacher group, La Gruta? I don't remember, but I think that it is the, you are referring to the special place, right? Yes. Where she yes. is. 
Yes, uh -huh. yes. And in that place, they have uh, a small piece of the real, of the real place that you went. So it's, it's like the same, but it's smaller and it's in the middle of the park. And it's, it's, very, it's very beautiful, the place, and, it, and it's so peaceful. Okay, great. So, Heidi, you would like to go again to Portugal mm. for vacations? For vacations? Uh, uh, the, the next question, right? I'm finding Doc. Muelle, yo puse Muelle. Doc. Ajá, Doc. Ajá, Doc. Doc, doc entonces. Como, ajá. The Libertad, Doc. You say. La, then, entonces sería tu, today, the door, the liberty. La libertad. La, la libertad, la Doc. Repetímela, decímela. Ahorita, I would like to go on vacation with my family to New Year's in the Liberty or country. Sería así. O dog, no es dog. Ajá, but this is number two for me. I don't, I no. don't number three, I only two. But this only two. I but this number two. I have a three, three questions. No, really? number two is what place would you like to visit with them and why? <laughs> exactly, is that, is that I have it too. <laughs> what place um, would you like to visit? Why? Uh, with them, with them, and, and why? Uh, I, my answer is, uh, I would like to go to the camping uh, one or two, two nights in the mountain because uh, this is why, because uh, we, because we going, we can enjoy the, the good time, the environment. Uh, it may be this uh, cool, and to look at the sunrise and, and I don't know how to say after the ser. Hello. The dawn. I don't know. The don't sunset, know. the sunset. The sunset. The sunset. Thank you, sun. La puesta set. del sol. Uh -huh. and, and maybe we can see or watch over there some animals in the mountain. Therefore, I would like to, to go camping. Okay, so my answer is that I would like to go to a beach house for maybe a week. What else? Okay, I, I have answer number two. <laughs> okay, good, Patricia. Go ahead. Uh, number one and number two for me uh, is uh, are uh, era, era la misma <laughs> para ah, mí, una sola. No. Yes, no. I confused, sorry. But no in case I like, uh, I like, visit El Salvador, a tour for El Salvador. Mm -hmm. because I love you, my, my, my country, my, I love El Salvador. And I can visit all uh, in two days. For all the place, or many yes. places. <laughs> yes, That's good. yes. In one today, in, one, no, in just two days. That's good. Yeah, and today, uh, because uh, 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 maybe no more, no more, it's not big, but it's more beautiful. For okay. me, it's mountain, beach, uh, uh, I love it. 
for a is my answer. Okay, probably Wendy, if you say I love it because I love I, you, I, I yeah. love you, I love it's the it. person. Okay, yeah, okay. I love it. I love it. I love yes. it. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay. And you, Patricia, uh, for answer number two. Uh, I want to ask uh, you, what, what place would you like to visit with them and why? Yo ya la respondí. Está bien. Hi, everybody. Good night. Hola, good night. Hey, hi, Andres. Good evening. Even though you are late, when you arrive, remember you say good evening, okay? Uh, good evening. Okay. okay. Okay, continue. Teacher, I'm sorry for the interruption. Uh, panoramic view. Panoramic, panoramic view. Panoramic view. No, view. Gracias. Perdón? No, ruta. Ah, ruta. Pano no, ah, pano no. ah, because panoramic view, vista panorámica. Panoramic view, uh, panoramic road. 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 No. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, flower road. In our no. country, we call it like that, but in general, in many other places, uh, it is panoramic road. Yeah? Okay. 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 But, panoramic. But, but here we call it the flowers uh, route. Yeah? Roots. When the you go to Sonsonate and Aguachapan, yeah, something like that, right? The flower okay. roots. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's a six Um. This on us oh. and the and the second question what like would you like to visit within or are it why the second to the seven o'clock and four four thirty at noon. They explore uh, explore us. They explore us. Yes, they are explorers. <laughs> yes. Because it's a it's an, a private company, right? It's, it's not a saying that we a public company. But public sector public is not the same the, the private company, right? Su empresa, no, quiero ver. Dime, su compañía es este es, es, es pública, pero tra, lo, eh, trabajan como que fuera privada. No, 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 es del sector privado. Ah. Le dije que el sector público es mucho mejor que el sector privado en cuanto a los free days, en cuanto a los días libres o, o de descanso. Depende, depende, sí. Bueno, depende, porque yo estaba en, la, en los dos, tanto en la Ajá, privada sí. como en la pública. Ajá. Y yo sentía bien, en la pública yo sentía bien pesado. Oh, los really? 15 días. Ajá. Yo sentía bien pesado el tener los 15 días, pero hasta Matusalén, ¿verdad? Hoy en, en mi actual job, en como se dice, en mi current job, en mi current job, en mi current job, they distribute them to me. Uh, oh, oh, like, gosh, I, I'll go on there. Your vacation are distributed uh, in a one year. So oh, you have 15 days. Durante todo el año. Ah, okay. Okay. They are distributed in, in all years, your vacation. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's okay, but in my case, we have vacation only around 15 years, one, one time per, per year. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. However, in the in the Easter holiday, um, we can we can enjoy about two days on the week, only Thursdays and Friday. Thursday and Friday. Uh, Yolanda, so you have vacations once a year. Once a, once a year, so I have a vacation. 15, 15 days or 15 20 days? days? 15 days, but one one time. On once year. a year, once a but, year. But once in Easter, a year. Easter holiday, in Easter holiday, we we have vacation only two days, about and Thursdays and Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And would you like to have more vacations? I mean, in a different distribution, or mm -hmm. that's okay once a year. Um, it's, In my case, it's okay one year per week is I have around 13 years to work in, in this. Uh, so you are used Something to, so mm -hmm. I, I used to, to I that. used to, yeah, I complain with the game. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. In my case, We finish. You are done. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think we're going to get back to the main session. So here we go. Okay, very good people. Now, time for sharing. Only some volunteers, okay? I need one person to ask, and you say the questions go to, okay? And you say the name of the classmate who is going to answer your questions. So, one volunteer to ask Is the questions. I'm okay. going to ask the question. Miss, ask the questions and you choose your partner, okay? Say the name of the partner who is going to answer. The name of the partner first or the question first? Uh, first, the, the, the name of the classmate. So he, ah, okay. she gets ready. <laughs> okay, Ana Claudia, get ready. Oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, what options would you give your family to have great vacations? I, I was thinking to go to the beach in La Unión because those are beautiful beaches. Beaches, I, I'm confusing that <laughs> plural word. Beach. Beach. Oh, dije la buena <laughs> I'm confused with, with the plural in that word teacher. Okay, so would you repeat be... it? Because I, I am checking that there is someone, one of your classmates who is having problems with the connectivity. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, would you repeat uh, this? Uh, yes, I said that I would like to go to the beach in La Unión because I love that, well, I love that beach. And it's so calm and not... Uh, Everybody goes to that place. Yeah. It's common to go to El Tunco, but going to La Unión, that it's, means it's three or peaceful. four hours. Exactly. It is more peaceful, but it takes a longer, you know, a long a longer period of time, yeah? The trip, exactly. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. Very good. Thank you, Caroline. Did okay. You close the microphone. Ahorita. Ahorita. Hi. Uh, I would like to go on vacation with my family to meet those of Libertad of Country. Uh, Anna would like to go to the beach in La Unión that needed to sound a cuckoo. 
Okay. I like to be by, by a dog like to bat a Laura Beach because I'm kidney. Thank you, Caroline. Okay. Thank you for sharing with Wait. the class. And now another classmate who is going to ask the question. One volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Fredis, say the name of your classmate who is going to answer. Uh, Wendy, uh, my question is, what play would you like to visit with them? I mean, your family and why? Okay, uh, I would like to go to tour for Salvador. I like to bikini in a taco. I'm final, I'm finally in the beach of the La Libertad because I love it, my, my El Salvador, and I can visit all in two days. Everything. So you're going probably to take a, a two days tour. Yes, a two days tour. Yes. Okay. Two day <laughs> You're going to take advantage of the time. Yeah. Okay. Congrats. Very good. Now we're going to go over the next activity. And here we go. Okay. So I'm going to continue sharing my screen with you. Okay. As I was saying, today is uh, Friday, March 12th. And Veronica Yesenia is going to have the meeting with me at 10 p.m., okay, after class. And here I have this, okay, in silence, I want you to complete these sentences. Examples to complete with would or would like to. What do you think? Okay, in silence, write down these five examples and complete them either with would or would like to. Later, we're going to share, okay? Please.
Hello, are you ready? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. one volunteer to read the first sentence. Me. Okay, miss. Um, number one, I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Okay, thank you. Excellent, great. Another volunteer for sentence number two. I. Please. Yo. Yes, miss. Ah, I I don't understand it. I want some help with my homework. Okay, thank you. Do you have another possibility for number two people? Would like to. Would like. I would like to, but what? It is something missing in there. I would like to to have yes. Uh -huh. I would like to have some help, okay? Yes. Or I would like some help, yes? But if you have to remember, you need a verb, okay? So I would like to have, okay, some help. Or I would like some help. You have two choices, that's why I was requesting for some other possibilities. And now, number three. Who wants to read number three? Me. Me. Uh, me. Okay, Freddy's number three and Ada number four. Uh, thank you. Uh, number three, I would like to travel to Europe. Okay, I would like to travel to Europe. And if you notice two is in there, would like you only had to like. write would like yeah because you have to in the like. sentence okay now number four miss ada they would like to sleep all day long okay very good they would like to sleep all day long the 24 hours of the day they would like to sleep the 24 hours of the day all day long means that Okay, durante todo el día, all day long. Now, number five, I need another volunteer to read number five. Me, teacher. Please, Miss Yolanda. Okay, she would like to get married as soon as possible. Very good, she would like, because you have two, to get married as soon as possible. Here we're missing an S, okay? We're going to add it as soon as possible in here. I don't know what happened, okay? As soon as possible. So add the other O and the other S. Whenever you see that, please let me know and we're going to uh, correct it, okay? So here we go. Very good. Now we're going to stop this for a while and we're going to have a different practice right now, okay? Using would like to, only would like to, affirmative. I would like to have an excellent internet connectivity all day long during the year, yeah? That is my sentence. Now you use one sentence, use your imagination, okay? Your creativity and you share the sentence with the class. Let's begin. Because I have seen in the in the chat that some people are like uh, the connectivity and it is a headache, yeah. With the home office, it is worse the situation. Okay, so volunteers to read the sentences. When you are ready, you tell me or you raise your hand. Okay. Me, I'm ready. Okay, Fredis, go ahead. I would like to work near my home. Very good. I <laughs> would like to work near my home. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Congrats. Next one. Me, teacher. Please. I would like to have a shower. Right now. Right now. <laughs> okay, good. 
It's so hot. It, it's so hot. It, it means that it is hot in your, at, at home, okay? In your, in your house right now, okay, good. Because summer is here, yeah? Vacations are here, that's why the weather is, you know? Thank you for sharing. Another participant? I would like to uh, drink coffee a lot. Of I would like to drink a lot of coffee, okay? I would like to drink a lot of coffee. So if you drink a lot of coffee, you're not going to sleep, okay? Ah, but today is Friday, so no problem. Okay, good. Thank you, Ala, for your sentence. Another participant? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, Veronica and later Wendy. I would like to go to the beach. I would like to go to the beach. Thank you. Wendy? I would like to start a, a new business. Wow. Great. Lorena? Your sentence? Teacher. Okay, Hugo, and later Lorena. Hugo? I like to dance at night. I would like to dance tonight. Tonight. Okay, okay tonight. good, great. After class, you can go and dance, okay? At home, if you wish, or you go to another place. Hugo, please. I would like to eat um, uh, five pupusas. I would like to eat five pupusas tonight. Yeah, okay, Good great. Night. Thank you. Mm, delicious. I would like to go eat, eat fish, fish on the I, beach. I would like I to go like to eat, go eat fish. fish. I would fish. like to go like to, to eat fish. fish. To the beach, yes? On the beach. Okay, very good. Thank you, Caroline. And uh, let's see, hmm. Heidi, your sentence. I would like to be allowed to work home office. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Patricia. I would like to eat tacos right now. Focus. Tacos. <laughs> ah, tacos. Ah, oh, okay. That's good. Uh, Miss Liliana Melissa? Yes, I would like to go to bed early every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many people, okay. Uh, who is missing? Me, Miss teacher. Okay, Miss Anna Claudia, please. Okay, I would like to have air conditioning in my room while I work from home. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Look at the faces. Yeah. And uh, who else? I didn't mention because Karen, okay, Karen, you may say one sentence. Good you think would like to. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank I you. would like yeah. to, and you mentioned the activity. I would like to go to Japan and live there for a while. Okay, I would like to go to Japan and live there for a while. Great. Cesar, welcome. Would you like to say one sentence using the structure would like to? Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, sorry, teacher, I don't know. What is okay, the question? Okay, okay. You have to say one sentence. I would like to, and you mentioned the activity. Okay, for example, I would like to go to the movies. I would like to go dancing, or I would like to dance tonight. I would like to eat five pupusas. Five, he said, right? Who wants to eat five pupusas tonight? And you? I would okay. like to. I would like to uh, play with my daughter. Okay, tonight. Tonight, yes. Okay. Uh, when when I when I come to my house. <laughs> okay, to have time in order to I would like to have time to play with my daughter when I get home. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. very good. You know what? 
I would like to lose some weight. I would like to lose some weight. Me gustaría perder peso. And you, you wouldn't like to, or yes. Me too. Me too. Because, because some of you are too. happy with your weight, okay? And you may say, no, yeah. teacher, I wouldn't like to. Yes, because the quarantine, mm -hmm. yeah. Me too, me too. Yeah, it is not our fault, yes? Okay, very well. So let's see. We have been reinforcing the structures with would and would like to, yes? And at the beginning, we were reading and we were uh, reviewing may and might because today is Friday and we are reviewing the structures that we have been studying during the week. Okay, now, do you remember any other structure that we have studied during this week? Not last week, but this week, do you remember? May and might. May, might. Would and, and could. would like to. Excuse me? Could and, and, and could. For polite request, yes. So when I say, could you activate your camera? It's more polite than if I say, can you activate your camera? Even when you listen to that is, you know, like rude, yes? And it is softer when you say, could you please? Okay, could you pay attention? Could you listen to me? Could you help me? Yes, then can you listen to me? Yeah. Okay, even we have to use polite language when we are at work, because if we use polite language with our coworkers, they are going to help you. But if you are rude, if you are unpolite, even though they can help you, they are going to tell you later, right now I am busy, and they are not going to help you. Yes, we know that. So um, do you have questions about can, could, may, might, would, or would like to? No questions? Okay, so right now we're going to work in your manual, okay? In your manual, get ready because we're going to start working in groups. Now we have more participants, so I'm going to be adding some other members to your different groups. Is that okay? I promise that. Okay, so uh, it's exactly nine, nine sharp. And before we go to the activity, I'm going to take the attendance for the second chance. Ada Susena? I present. <laughs> Hello. Ana Claudia? Here, teacher. Okay, great. Andres Alberto? Andres, not yet, because he's having problems with the connection. Cesar? I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Fatima? Fatima is absent today. Mm, Francisca, she couldn't make it. Fredis is here. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Hugo? Hugo? I'm, I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Heidi? Miss Heidi? Here. Karen? Here, teacher. Here, teacher. Miss Liliana, Miss Liliana Melissa? Present. Okay. Miss Lorena Cigarán? Present, teacher. Miss Milagro? Was here, but not here at the moment. Mauricio? Not here. Patricia Janet. Here. Okay, good. Caroline, Sandra Carolina. Hi, teacher. Hi. Present. Hi. Good to listen to you. Veronica, Yesenia. 
Hi, teacher. Wendy. Hi, teacher. Hi. Sochil is not here. Yolanda, Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, great. So listen, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do right now. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Okay, practicing with vocabulary. The idea is to practice with vocabulary. So it is a classwork. Turn your books or modules at page 27. Individually, match the steps to make purchase online. And later, you're going to compare. So in other words, you're going to work only right now in exercise number one. Don't run, but you're going to work in a small groups, okay? Only this exercise. Match the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. This is the activity. Ready? Okay, so here we go. If you are not in one group, I'm going to add you to one, okay? So I'm going to assign Caesar. Go to your groups if it is possible. Caesar goes to uh, room number four. Caesar, room number four. Okay. And Karen. Thank you. My pleasure. You go to room, let me see, Karen, to room number five, okay? Karen, I am assigning you at this moment. Room number five, grupo numero cinco. <clears throat> Teacher, we have to do it first by ourselves. And then yes, yes, that's the idea. The, that you practice the vocabulary and later you share. Okay. 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 Later, we're going to share with the class to see if we have the same answers. Okay. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Eh, eh, en la, 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 la página 19. Yes, <laughs> well, individually. Individual. But you ah, work individually. individually. Yes. And ah, later okay. you share because when you work, the idea is that you review by yourself the vocabulary. Ah, yeah? Okay, okay. And later you compare. As soon as you okay. finish, we are going to share with the class. Okay. okay. To compare. Okay. As I a understand. Class. Okay. okay. Uh -huh, okay, Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> Only exercise number one. Yes. Okay. Caroline, so let's compare it individual and then we compare at the end. Yes, that's it. Okay. Because remember, it is the review for the unit. Yes. Yes, and this is similar to what we did on Monday. Yeah, so. That's uh, but that, that is the reason why I was telling to her to look page 19. Ah, oh, shame on you, miss. Okay. <laughs> Bye. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> Similar. Mm -hmm. That can be. Take the price. Number two. And then log into your account.
uh, number five can be confirm the method of payment. Yes. Okay. 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 Do you have a twice confirmation? Confirmation. Confirm your information and credit card. Number five. I think credit card information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Write the, the number, number seven. Write the big address. No. What do you think? Uh, call your feet, please. You can give this for me. You say number seven is? Mm -hmm. I think it's the uh, right uh, building, building address, number seven. What do you think? Oh, okay. So? Yes, yes. Okay. I agree. Okay. And uh, the last one, number eight, confirm you. About to finish or already finished? Oh, five minutes. The power, the power, the power. You have to work individually and later you compare, okay? Because it is the review of the unit. Okay, okay. Okay. Sweet. Right, right, the building address. And confirm the method of payment. Ahí sería confirmar, confirmar el método de pago. Confirm the method of payment. Login. Y la última, login y. To do you account. Account. Um. Log, log, login to your account. Sí. Okay. Um, um, and confirm, confirm your information is a summary. Ah, uh, la segunda, oh. ¿cómo les quedó? Confirm your information. No, uh, confirm, ¿cuál es la uh, Information sería submit, enviar, confirmar la información de envío. Ah, entonces sí. Ok, ¿verdad? Summit. Como normalmente cuando uno hace una compra en línea ya, ya hizo todos los pasos, siempre le pide la última pregunta. Confirmemos. Okay. El lugar de envío. Sí. Diría yo que así es. La 1, credit card is eh, information. Tú confirm your information is submit. Three, select the items. Siete. Y en la 8 creo que está. Ok, entonces voy a revisar eso luego. Y eso, y eso era que está calificando, calificando sí. también la chiche. Sí, lo califica también. Ok, no, no eh, sabía. Lo que sí escuché y no entendí 
que dijeran que una pequeña conversación que tenemos que escribir, ¿será que es ahí? ¿Aló? ¿Hola? No sé qué sí. Yes. You have to write a short conversation. Like if you go, for example, to a, it could be to a restaurant or to a, a, a department store, I think, yeah? A department store. And you ask to the clerk, eh, eh, va a un departamento de tiendas, a una tienda y le pide algo al, al, al o a la eh, empleado, pero usando polite request. Could you show me that shirt? Yes, of ah, course. Okay. Uh -huh. I didn't could, I try, could I try it on? Podría probármela? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Uh, yes, of course. The feeding room is over there. See, sí, el cuarto para medicina está allá. Yes, okay. right. that is just an example. But you use your image, and then you say, "Oh, thank you very much," and that's it. The idea is that you use the uh, auxiliary "could" in order to ask polite request. Or if you are in a restaurant, um, could you give me a glass of water? Yes. But this uh, this uh, short conversation to have we have to write is for mm -hmm. use for that that um, video conference or, or photo to homework <coughs> number Ese, seven and eight. Number es seven para eight. la discusión. Es la discusión para la para la semana eh, en la que estamos. Okay, I'm I going mm -hmm. to find. It is for discussion. Discussion. It is in the discussion yes, I but I can't find where is the um, la indicación. No, a mí no no lo encuentro, no me parece. Mm, voy a verificar porque si lo, lo las otras personas si lo han hecho eh, aparece porque una solo... imagen aparece una imagen de, de alguien que de dos personas que están en un almacén. No. Eh, lo que pasa ahí es que se... yo uso la aplicación, entonces no sé si será por eso. Ah, probablemente. Eh, en, con, ¿en, qué confer, ¿En qué número de? En la semana 2. Semana 2. Week 2. Week 2. Ya. Yeah. Sí, porque a mí solo me aparece en videoconferencia y abajo. No, discusión. pero en la parte de arriba donde aparece... Eh, donde aparecen las videoconferencias, aparecen los homeworks y aparece también discussion. Ahí hace clic en la barra. Arriba. Mm, ok. Entonces creo que voy a entrar al sitio web. Porque yeah, la I think so. no. Yeah, I think so. Ajá, no lo encuentro. Ok, it's time to get back. Teacher. Ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Si me pudiese, uh, aquí lo estoy proyectando la. Sí, la pantalla. La pantalla, ¿en qué parte aparece? Todo se les aparece. Usted ha entrado en la, en la, en la plataforma. Así es, en la plataforma estoy. Y a mí me aparecen las discusiones abajo de cada una de las conferencias. Dime que... ¿Qué teacher is like woman o woman? Puede ser para mujer o hombre. Profesor o profesora. Estudian igual. Y el profe estudiante, student, es t u d n d e n student, n t d e n t student. Esa es la de la semana 1 ¿verdad? La que yo les asigné. Ahora busquen en la semana 2 And maybe on, may and might, no, in the previous one. Pero es que ahí ya pasaríamos para el examen. En las, en las videoconferencias anteriores. En la del miércoles.
porque es el foro de discusión. En la parte de arriba, regrese acá. Discusión. Discussion. Click in there. No aparece. Mire, solo la semana 1 aparece. Voy a verificar porque aparecía en la semana 2. Mire, eso es eh, todo lo teacher. que aparece. Uh -huh. No sé. Solo son dos indicaciones. Sí. Ah, ok. Entonces la primera está ahí donde dice semana 1 y la uh -huh. segunda está en general. Ah, no aparece en la semana 2. Ok. No. Click in there, please. Ajá, uh -huh. week two. This is the one. Ah, ah okay. se fue para generar. Uh -huh. Ok, that's it. Ok, entonces sí me aparece. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y la otra sí está en semana uno. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Eh, may we get back to the main session? Yes. So you okay, can share. Ok, thank you. My pleasure. No, thank you. Thank you. I was looking for that. Okay. Hey. Now we're going to close because it is time to share. But it was good. Hello, 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 Caroline. Caroline wants to share with the class the possible answers. Um. <laughs> it was a joke, Caroline. Fue broma, Carolina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she was like quivering. Oh, boy. oh my God, Pardon. she said. Pardon, just as I am sleeping, I'm <laughs> Okay, here we go. I need one volunteer to share with the class, to read the answers, the possible answers, in order to see if we have the same answers. Who wants to try? E, the first one. Okay. Uh, the first one is going to be on the green side, go to D, and on the other side, online web page. Go to the online web page. Yes. Continue, Miss. Ah, I saw that yeah. just one. No, continue. <laughs> if they have ah. any, a, a, a difference, they are going to tell you. Uh, okay. The second step, it will be on the green side, select the items to purchase. Okay. Uh, the third one is check the price. And then we have logging. I login. I what is it? To your account. <laughs> uh, different lines. Login to your account. And then we have uh, the number five. Confirm the method of payment. And then we have the number six, um, credit card information. Then we have in number seven, write the billing address. And the number eight, I have confirmed your information and submit, I confirm your information, what is it? And submit. Confirm the information and submit. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> Do you agree? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Partially understand. agree or disagree? The matching. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you the image. So you, 
it would be better, right? If I show you the... Hasta 40 minutos. <laughs> Miss, it's, it's that I understood that we would match. I did. Yeah, you would match. We... So we say credit cards mm -hmm. matches to... To purchase the credit price to your account. Information. Uh, information. 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 Uh, credit cards matches to... Information. 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 Confirm your information matches to? Submit. 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 Yeah. Submit. Select the Submit. items. To purchase. To purchase. Go to the? Online web page. Online web page. Right? Billing address. Billing address. Check the price. The price. The price. Confirm the method. Payment. A payment. Login. Login. To your account. To your account. Very good. So I think we did it, right? Great. Now you get back to the small groups and vocabulary practice. In the groups, you have to ask different partners, okay? valid reasons why customers can ask for a refund and blah, 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 okay? So here you have to write one, two, three, four, four names and acceptable reason and unacceptable reasons, okay? Are we clear about the activity? So I'm going to move some people to the groups because you need to have for victims. I need groups of five, yes? Necesitamos grupos de cinco porque son cuatro personas a las que les tienen que preguntar. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok, so we go over yes, exercise yes, number two. Here we go. Castain flies. And I'm going to tell you. Ok. Um, Ana Claudia goes to goes to room number three. Okay. <clears throat> Caroline. 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 Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. You go to room number one. Now I have one, two, three, four. Four and four, okay. Mm -hmm. And let me see, there is another group. Hugo, Hugo, you go to room number four. Okay, teacher. Karen, Stephanie, you go to room number one. Lorena. Okay, teacher. You go to room number three, okay? And let me see if we have five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Five by five, okay? So I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay. And interview your partners. Go to the breakout. Oops. Caroline, go to room number one. Carolina, vaya hacia el salón número uno. No le escucho. No Hola. No, no la agarra. No lo agarra, teacher. ¿El que no agarra? Mándelo otra vez porque eh, cuando me mandó al grupo pequeño no lo agarró. ¿Cómo que no lo agarró? Sí, me voy. Como cuando usted manda la, la ¿cómo se llama? La, la okay. función de que los grupos. Pequeños, Vaya, o en este es momento, en este agarró. momento. Ok. Go to groups. Ok. En, en este momento se lo mando. Esa tengo que... 
Sí, al grupo uno va eso. Siguiente, Ada. And the, the product. And the reason when they cannot ask for it. Que no pueden, unas razones. No sé si uno, I don't know if you understand. Yeah, eh, ¿por, qué, ¿por qué razón eh, lo devuelven, verdad? O algo así. Acepto. Ajá, uh -huh. aceptable reason. Uh -huh. uh, uh, how do you say, cuando se han equivocado de producto de pedido? Uh, um, uh, Patricia, Ana change, Patricia says. Change, change the product. No, uh, ground, no. Or, ground order, deliver, maybe. Yeah. Wrong, wrong, uh -huh. order. Wrong, wrong order. Wrong order. Wrong order. Order, order delivered, ajá, porque le mandaron la incorrecta. Grown order delivered. Delivered, ajá. And the unacceptable reason, Wendy. Digo. Eh... Algo por lo que tu compañía no cambiaría, o sea. No, no es competencia para pedir un refund. <laughs> I guess Wendy is frozen. <laughs> I don't know if she's thinking about it too. No, I guess Hello, she's Wendy. Oh, he should. Wendy, Wendy, I get frozen. Wendy. Wendy. You can ask to another. Okay, okay ask. If because she is answering at this one. <laughs> okay, we'll continue with uh, Gwen. Uh, Wendy already is another product too. Patricia, um, we, what the reason, do you know the reason why the customer uh, can ask for re, re, refund and reason when they cannot ask for it? Okay, the acceptable reason is when the product has a defect. Okay. But the unacceptable reason is when the customer lies okay. that he that the product has a defect from the start, but really they continue using the product and for that reason they broke the product. Okay. Mm, that I is what I said. <laughs> oh, I see now the word. No, but I mean like <laughs> when they use for a long time. Ah. And then they say that the product has a defect, but really is not all, all ah. fault. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me write the first question. Sorry, uh, I uh -huh. my disconnected. <laughs> We were missing you and we Hi. were asking you to see if you were in this virtual <laughs> work. Yeah, I know. Yes. Okay, okay, but you're back. Thank God you're back. Thank you, yes. Wendy. 
I don't know if you have the, the answer for unacceptable reason. Yes. Uh, um, can you help me in a, because uh, for my, no me ha quedado muy claro este, este tema por mi problema de conexiones que he tenido. Okay. ¿Pueden ayudar con esto? Estábamos estudiando la forma que los clientes piden, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Reembolso. Entonces, hay productos que tienen garantías y todo. Entonces, razones válidas para pedir un reembolso, ¿cuáles serían? Ya dijiste una. Y entonces, las razones no válidas en las que los clientes piden reembolso. Ah, ok. Eh, eh, por, por ejemplo, don't like the product. A price and, and it's not a price anymore. Pero no entiendo cómo, cómo esa podría ser. Eh... Un aceptable. Ajá. Sí, sí, sí puede. Ah, es aceptable, correcto. Es aceptable podría ser porque este, está una oferta y cuando usted se metió a la página ya no había. Entonces, eh, me imagino que solo ponen cinco, un ejemplo, suéteres. Entonces, cuando ya entró, ya era el seis. Ya no está el precio de oferta, sino yes, está el precio normal. But you are trying to get back your money. So you already paid for the item. Oh. It doesn't matter if it's right now in offer or if it was in offer. You no, already paid for that. You're trying to get a refund. It is already a normal price. Yeah, I, I understand you, but the, the exercise is that you are trying to get your money back. But that's, we have to find the acceptable reason to, for you to get your money back. It doesn't matter if the price is in regular price or is with a discount. You're trying sí. to get your money yes. back. Sí. And unless they offer, offer her a price and charge a higher a different price. price. Yes, that could be one. Mm -hmm. Um, how can we say that? Uh, um, different price charges. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a, that's an acceptable reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then call me, Billy. Acceptable reason for Carolina. Different price. Charged it. And unacceptable to be unacceptable, Caroline. Is it unacceptable? Yes. Yes. Different price. Unacceptable. Uh, is and different price charged. Mm. Yes, right. Because it's a uh, small, a small, uh, how much is it? Oh, oh, no, 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 cumple las especificaciones. No, yo, yo había pensado ah, no, que pe, pedí una talla pequeña y hoy la quiero grande y no me la reciben. Como en el pedido original pedí algo pequeño. No. Not sure because they they no. will not receive it, receive you the because the she item. changed her mind about the size. She changed her mind. But I think they can change the item if you present the ticket. It doesn't matter if you is not. It doesn't matter if it's not your size. Mm -hmm. That's a good point because you received what you ordered. Yes, that's why it's unacceptable to to ask for a refund uh -huh. if you change your mind about the about the size. 
Uh -huh. that is not a problem for the department for store the that doesn't fit you well. That is not their problem. It's unacceptable because they could change the size maybe. Not a refund, they could change the size of the product. Yeah, but, but here we are trying to get a refund. Mm -hmm. But we are mm -hmm. in unacceptable, unacceptable. They, uh -huh. they no. don't not accept me a change of size, of size, sorry. They don't not accept me a change of size. No me aceptan un cambio Maybe de talle, it sorry. could be they, how, teacher, how do you say no aceptamos cambios ni devoluciones? Okay, <clears throat> no changes are, are, uh, are acceptable. Why? Especially in garments, because you yes. tried mm -hmm. it on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be that, an that, acceptable that, reason. Yeah, that's why it is kind of risky to buy online uh, clothes, mm -hmm. because remember the zero size, and maybe uh, depending on the company, the large size is maybe small. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they are Ropa giving Ibella. you what you order. It is not only, uh, you know, the, the panties or your bra. It is also with your, your in general, with the, with the garments, with the clothes okay. in general. Thank you, teacher. So it could be, uh, we don't have, they don't accept changes? changes? So. They do not accept me a change of time. Go. Go. Hard. Yeah. I understand. I, I you need a sleep. Yes. Usually in my, in my case, the Friday is too, because it's the last day that uh, the week. Are you ready with your answers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, In some groups, they are still, uh, you know, discussing. Yeah. But here we go. Let's get back because time flies. Okay. Thank you. Now I need some volunteers in order to read one reason. Okay. Me. When it is acceptable. Okay. I am going to ask for four volunteers in order to read one acceptable reason for the refund. And in the other case, Another four participants to read the four, one each, okay? Unacceptable reasons. So who offered to be the first one? Me. Okay, Miss Melissa. Okay, one acceptable reason for us is missing parts <clears throat> in the product. Okay, thank you. Another participant for an acceptable reason for the reform? What? Final product. Excuse me, would you repeat? Is the final the product? Fire the product? A failure. A failure. Carolina? A failure. Because of because they offer a and it is already abnormal a price would you say it again please because all the the offer and their i it is already already in abnormal price <clears throat> Maybe when you say the offer. when, uh huh, when yes, yes, oh. yes, I offer. 
Okay, when you, uh, a product is on sale, but when you place your order, it is not on sale anymore. It doesn't apply the discount anymore. Because it is a regular price. That is her point, I think. I, I think that the, the, the offer expired. Yeah. But what about when the offer uh, expired? It doesn't yes. accept orders. Yeah. I think. Finish. I don't know. Thank you so much, Caroline. And one more for acceptable reason? Me? Yes, Miss Veronica? Um, I acceptable reason um, for quality. Okay, very good. When the product is for quality, not what they offer, yeah? And it is at the moment. Good. Now let's go over the unacceptable reasons. Who wants to share? Me. Okay, Miss Heidi and later Veronica. Unacceptable reasons because uh, the customer doesn't like it anymore. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Veronica. I need money. Oh, oh I yeah. Like because you 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 don't want the product anymore. You don't want to buy the product anymore. Yes. And you need the money back. Okay. Thank you. Two more participants. Me, teacher. Please, Miss Patricia. Okay, when the customer use the product for a long time and then they want a refund, but when the product is damaged by the use they they give to the product. They don't they don't use it properly. Yes? The customer. Mm, yes. Sometimes happens and so, they I mean, they... when we sell a product and they use it for a long time. And um, then they say that the problem is from us, but it's for the time that they use the product. Uh, probably that is regarding the warranty. Okay. Okay, when the yes, warranty is expired. Like okay, thank you. One more, one more participant. Hello. Me? Okay, please, uh, Mr. Freddy. Uh, uh, when acceptable, reason wrong order delivered. Okay, that is acceptable. Mm -hmm. And who wants to share one more unacceptable reason? Teacher. Yes, Miss Ada. Damage to the product by in the customer. That is unacceptable. In okay. It is when they, maybe when you open it. A lot of people don't like to read the manuals. Yes. And then they, they want a different product or another one, or they would like to have a refund. Under those circumstances, you see, it is not acceptable. Very good. Now let's go over the next activity. And here we go. Let's see. Okay, now you're going to be using the demonstrative pronouns. Read the description and then write down the correct demonstrative pronoun. This, that, this, or those. Which ones? Okay, let's do it individually and we're going to share. That is uh, page 28 in your manual, okay? And be careful because between parentheses, you have an explanation in order to be more assertive when you choose 
your uh, possible answer. This, that, this, and those. Remember how we use them. Okay. Read the situation, but also please read the description that you have uh, under the sentence. Finished. Yeah? Yes. Okay, let's see. In number one, who wants to read number one? Only one volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Miss Yolanda. How could you buy something like that? Mm, no. no, because read the description you have. Talking about a purse you have in, in your hand. Your hand. Must be oh, like this. This. Like, this, this, yeah. Like this. Like this. Yeah. How could you buy something like this? Because you have it in your hands. Remember. Yes. Okay. okay. Now number two. Who wants to try number two? Me. Me. Okay, Freddie. This report are very heavy. This report are very heavy. Okay, plural, right? This. Sure, sure. Yeah, yes. this. Sure. Thank you. Now, number three. Who wants to read it? Number three. I had to wear these comfortable shoes I bought. Plural, right? This. I had to wear these yes. comparable shoes I bought because 
You are showing the shoes. You are in those shoes. You are wearing those shoes. <clears throat> And it says during a walk. So it means that while you are walking, you are uh, making the comment. Now in number four, who wants to try number four? Me, teacher. Please, Miss uh, Meli. Can you, can you bring me that cup, or, that cup I left in Anastas? Very well. <clears throat> Pointing at a cup on a far desk. Yes, you are not near that desk. Can you bring me that, that cup I left in Anna's desk? Thank you, Miss Liliana Melissa. Now number five, who wants to try that? Me, teacher. Me? Okay, uh, let's listen to Karen and later uh, the boy. Okay, Karen, please. And five. Yes. Eh, quiero ver. Eh, that, that are Mr. Pineda children. Okay, thank you. But remember that we have the verb are, plural. Children, plural. Because the singular oh, is yes. child. Okay. And read the description about a picture about. hanging on a wall. Okay. Hanging on a wall. These are Mr. Pineda's children. Okay, what do you think? Is that okay? Those, or do you those. have a possible answer? I think those. it's those. Those are Pineda's Those so because me, they are on the wall. Those. Those. those, yeah. Okay. In number six, the boy. In, yes. In this, in this picture, you see my wife and daughter. About a picture hanging on the wall also. <clears throat> Do that. we say this or that? That. That. that? that, for me, that, that. Yeah, because it is hanging. Yes, it is hanging. So now the last exercise here. Uy. 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 Here. Let's complete the different questions and ask them to a partner and write down the answers. Can you, you use your imagination, okay? What can you complete the different questions? <clears throat> okay, for example, I'm going to ask uh, Karen. Karen, the question goes to you. What can you cook? Uh, yes, I can, but I don't like. No, but my question is, uh, what can you cook? ¿Qué puedes cocinar? Uh, I can cook. I can cook chicken, egg, rice, um, mm -hmm. beans. And beans. See. <laughs> okay, thank you. So that is a, some kind of question. First, when could you, where can you, how could you, who can you, why could you? Okay, use your imagination. And we're going to be asking and answering the questions the same as I uh, did with Karen. Okay, you're going to write the, the questions, your partners are going, the, I'm sorry, the answers for the questions you're going to ask the different classmates. Use your imagination.
When you are ready, please tell me. Tell me so you can choose your victim. Okay, Claudia, ask yes. the first question to one partner. Uh, to Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> when could you complete the meat test? Question number two is for you, Heidi. When could you complete, complete. the meat okay. test? I could complete it um, two days ago. No, I guess. Okay, okay. I already completed it two days ago. Yes. I already ya lo completé yes. hace dos días. Mm -hmm. I already completed it two days ago. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, Heidi, you ask question number three. Okay. Number three. Where yes. can I? To whom you choose? Heidi? Well, okay. okay, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose Caesar. And I'm going to ask where can you go to have fun in your city? Cesar, Cesar, Cesar. Okay, Heidi, ask the question to another classmate. Hugo. 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 Where are these boys? Hugo. Yes, I'm not lucky tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, ask to a girl Freddy? then. Ah, Freddy's? Okay. Could you please repeat the, the question oh, for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, where can you go to have fun in your city? Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I can go to have fun for the let me see, campus of the, no, to the park. Uh, I, I can have fun in the park of the city. Good. <clears throat> now question number, uh, number four, Freddy, ask a partner. Um, to, let me see, Wendy, you can hear me, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Yes, <laughs> no, I have a sorry. Okay, Wendy, uh, how would you help me? How could you help me? Mm -hmm. How could you help me? Uh -huh. How could you help me? It's a general question. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. With yeah. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. I don't understand you. Okay. How could you help me? I could um, help you. Yes. I could help you. Yes, I could help you in your need. Okay. okay. Or I could help you studying. Uh -huh. yes. How I could help you study. <laughs> or I can help you with your homework. Or I could study. help you with your homework. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> In or your exam, in the, or in, or in, the, in the best of the cases, <laughs> I could help you, uh, you know, with, the with money, test. with money, <laughs> with money. <laughs> okay, good. Now, question number five. Uh, Lorena? Lorena, question number five. Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, read question number five and you ask to a classmate. Yeah. 
Lorena, do you have question number five? Okay, who wants to read question number five? Again, teacher, perdón. Sorry. You choose the partner, you choose the partner. Uh -huh. When can you eat, eat fish? Question number five. One, one. Who, 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 who can you eat? Who can you eat is fish? Ah, uh, who can you eat with? ¿Con quién puedes comer? Who can you eat no. with? Who can you eat, eat fish? No, it doesn't make sense. No. You can you eat. Because you it is about eat. a person. It is about a person. Who can you? Uh, For example, uh, let's see. I have a, I have a question. Who can you ask, uh, who can you call if you think you are infected with the virus? Mm. Uh -huh. Who can you call? Mm -hmm. Who can you eat? To, the, to a doctor? Yes. Mm. Okay, now question number six. Question number six, let me see, Miss Melissa. Um, I choose my victim. Yes. Uh, let me see. We, we call you for the me. Um, okay. Ada. Ada. Okay. Why could you have to do the presentation? How could you? Why could why? you have, why exactly? Why could you have to do the presentation? Hello? Hello teacher. Okay, the answer, let's hear it, it's time. Do you have the answer? presentation? ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué pudiste? Algo así. ¿Por qué podrías? Mm. I am at work. Because I am at work, yes. I am at work. Yes. Or because it is my obligation. Obligation. <laughs> because I have to do it. Yeah. Or yes. because it is my work. Okay. We call you for me. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Listen. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hope to Thank see you, you on you. Monday. You and Veronica Yesenia, stay with me, right? The rest of the class, bye bye. See you Monday. Bye bye. Go bye bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Sweet Thank you, dreams. Bye. Sweet dreams, bye. okay? Bye. Ah, very bye. happy when I say goodbye. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. See you Monday. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. You. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Okay. Veronica, do you have questions about the topics that we have been studying in the week? Sorry, teacher. Le decía que si se lo podía eh, decir en español, porque como yo no estuve en la clase de May y Mick, no lo entendí. Okay, uh -huh. very May, good. It might. It might. I'm going to share my screen, okay? So we can have a, a, a reminder about it. Así podemos tener un recordatorio y se lo explico mejor. Por eso me urgía que usted se quedara. Okay, may and might are two auxiliaries. When you mm -hmm. use may and might, you are showing, you are expressing that there are possibilities of something to happen. 
los dos auxiliares nos sirven para expresar posibilidades de que algún evento o que algo ocurra. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? We use may when we have more possibilities. When the possibilities are stronger, that uh, the It's event happens. Possibility. May. More possibility. And may. Cuando tenemos muchas posibilidades, ah, cuando muchas. tenemos más posibilidades de que el evento ocurra. Usamos might cuando hay menos posibilidades. ¿De acuerdo? Pero el significado es el mismo. So, we have this example. May is often more possible than might. Aquí está la explicación que le acabo de dar. May is often more possible than might. If often more possible than might. Pero el significado es el mismo, ¿verdad? Posibilidad. En la posibilidad o opciones. Posibilidad. No es opción de que ocurra algo, porque cuando decimos opción puede suceder o no puede, o puede suceder, pero acá es cuando yo observo, analicemos los ejemplos. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what to do. No estoy segura qué hacer. I may listen to music. Uh -huh. Podría escuchar música. I use may because probably I am at home. Uh -huh. I have the possibility to, use, to listen to music in my computer, my phone, my radio, mm. a speaker, on TV. Yes, a lot mm. of possibilities. But if yeah. I am probably at the mall, yes, at the shopping center, at the mall, mm -hmm. and then I say, I might listen to music. Es en la misma oración, pero uso my porque tendría menos posibilidades. If I, in a, if I am in a more probably, I'm going to have the least possibility. Why? Because of the noise, because a lot of interference, and maybe I'm not going to be able to choose my favorite music. Hay muchas situaciones en que me podrían inhibir el que ese evento se llegue a realizar. ¿Sí? Entonces, might, sí, yo podría, ¿verdad? And then, you might not like that music. Posiblemente, probablemente no te guste esa música. Mm. I have less possibilities, ¿ya? Yeah? And then, it might rain later, so take an umbrella. Podría llover o hay posibilidades de que llueva más tarde. Llévate una sombría. But here is even... The possibilities are less because of the changing weather. Acá las posibilidades son menores, les decía a sus compañeros. Why? Because maybe the sky is dark. So I think I have possibilities to see the rain. Yes. But maybe if you are going out, I am advising you to take an umbrella. Why? because probably it's going to rain, but maybe you are, let's imagine in Mexicanos, to tell you an example, and you are going to buy something to San Salvador, and the sky is different because it is sunny. Mm -hmm. So that's why we use might, por eso usamos might, porque mm -hmm. las posibilidades de que ese evento suceda son menores, oh, no. así mm -hmm. es. Puede que no suceda. That's why we use might. But the meaning is the same. ¿Ok? Pero el significado es el mismo. And then we have another one. I may watch a movie tonight. Se podría decir que el uso dependería del sustantivo. Bueno, del, del contexto. Sujeto, del, contexto. del contexto. Sí, no del sujeto, sino que del contexto. Del contexto. Yeah, I may watch a movie tonight. It means that I have a lot of possibilities to watch a movie tonight. Mm -hmm. Hay muchas posibilidades de que yo vea una película esta noche. Probably uh, at home or probably, you know, if I go to the movies. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I have time. I have money. It is on me. It is my decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I use may and I don't use might. Okay? Se podría decir como que I may watch a movie tonight o eh, o, o, o I may uh, I meet I might dance no para hacer como que el uso de la topa como que es más probable uh -huh. que vea una película a que me vaya a bailar yes uh -huh. okay so we are go listen I'm going to share my my whiteboard with you and here we go okay so let's see if you say I might yeah I might uh, go to dance tonight mm. at this time I have less possibilities because I am tired yes mm -hmm. aquí uso might porque hay menos posibilidades porque ya es tarde y estoy cansada yeah, okay. yeah. but if you say I may, I may watch a movie Yo podría ver una película, puedo ver una película, because I am home. Uh -huh. And I am in my bedroom. Yes? Uh, ya le entendí, se podría decir como que I meet I might. a movie. No, así como que I meet watch a movie because uh, what do you say? Cansada. Porque ando Ay. cansada y quiero dormir. Ah, pero entonces ahí sería negativo. Mm. And then we say, probably, I might not uh, watch a movie might. tonight. Aquí sí que realmente son ya escasas las posibilidades, porque incluso mm. está dando la negación. I might not watch a movie tonight. Yeah? Mm. Ahí es casi que cero posibilidades. Ok. Hoy sí, teacher. Ok. Sí, entendí. Ok, mm. perfect. And, and uh, about any other topic? No creo que no, porque... Uh, hay... What about the demonstrative pronouns? Los de this, that, uh -huh. that, y those. No problem in there. Este, this. Ok. Bueno, this, sí. This is for singular. And that this, is for singular uh -huh. too. Yeah. But we have these and those for plural. Right? Mm -hmm. The only difference is that you're going to use this in singular. And this for plural when uh, the objects are close to you. And you use that in singular and those in plural when the objects are far from you. Están lejos de ti. This and that singular and plural when they are close to you. People, objects, animal, right? And that singular and those plural when they are far away from you. Cuando están lejos usa para singular that y those para plural. Cuando están cerca de usted, this, this. Okay. This, this it this. Um, close to you. Hoy sí, porque sí había, había tenido la confusión en can you bring me that? Mm -hmm. that's, that's why they have the description below each sentence. Por eso estaba la descripción debajo de cada oración. Yeah, uh -huh. to contextualize, to uh -huh. help you, para contextualizarle y ayudarles a ubicarlos mejor. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend and I hope to see you Monday. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Good Have night. a nice weekend. Have a good night. Bye bye, miss. Take care.